When the lenses arrive in your shop, you can check the reference power by following a range of steps using a digital fosimeter. First of all, make sure to calibrate your fosimeter regularly to ensure correct measurements. Set it to manual and adjust the Abbey value. This is an essential step for all fosimeters. After checking the marking of the lenses, place them in the meter correctly. Please make sure that the lens surface is not tilted on the aperture of the fosimeter. To ensure that the lens is not rotated, the paint mark on the lens can be used as a reference point. In the prism reference point, only the prism needs to be measured. Even if you have not ordered a prism, you will measure a value at this point, the so-called thinning prism. In the case where you have not ordered a prismatic value, the most important thing is to measure the same prismatic value on both lenses, right and left. In the far reference point, you will measure the spherical and the cylindrical power, as well as the cylinder axis. The values to be measured are the printed reference power values on the lens envelopes. These values ensure that the wearer experiences the prescription values when wearing the lenses. In order to verify the addition power, please decide if you want to check either the back surface or the front surface addition power. For your convenience, both are printed on the lens envelope. Whatever you decide to measure, the addition value is measured as the difference between the mean power in the near reference point and the mean power in the far reference point. The mean power is the calculated value of measured spherical power plus half of the measured cylinder. Keep in mind that both mean power values need to be measured on the same surface depending on your decision. All ophthalmic lens manufacturers have to deliver lenses within ISO standards. This means a small difference between the measured values and the printed reference power values is allowed and to be expected.